What is going on everybody? It's Steven here and welcome to a quick update video here on my channel. So why an update video? Because I have many future plans for the channel which I want to present you today. And also I want to inform you on all the old projects, so what's going to happen with them. And yeah, I promised you a room tour for a very long time and today we're going to do one. My room is not special so I think a room tour is actually just crap because it's a 5 times 4 meter um, room here in my basement. Yeah, basement in Austria. I know what you're thinking, but I'm not Peter Bear. Peter Bear, how you call it thing. But yeah, um, why an update video? So I have um, very big plans here for this channel and I maybe want to create a sub channel. So yeah, we'll see in the future. And um, also the old projects like the Minecraft server, I just don't have enough time for everything. So I study engineering, I run the shop with my team and well, this this takes a lot of time, but also doing the videos and reviews, this takes really a lot of time and I already work 10 hours a day or uh, even more and yeah, it's getting just too crazy. Now I still want to finish the Minecraft tour because I, I love Minecraft, it's, it's nice and I love hack lines, I love that and I want to finish that and um, we're currently searching for helpers, like I already found some nice people on Skype which will help me with the plugins and yeah, we'll definitely release the server because I paid it now for three months and I'm going to pay it for all future time. So we'll definitely do that. So check out ITX Craft and you can just, if you want to help, really, it would be nice. I appreciate all help. You can also get some moderator or something, admin, really, I don't care. So I just want to bring up a community server because I love this community. It's, it's actually my life and we'll do something great with that. Then also, yeah, I have plans for this channel. So... I invested now a lot of money for doing PC reviews. A lot of you guys um, are related to gaming, you guys love PCs, you guys love performance. I love performance too, I love fast PCs like fast cars. And yeah, I'm going to do some awesome PC reviews and if I find enough sponsors, so um, I already will get a team for that, then we'll see if we can give away one PC per month. But it really depends on how many clicks we get because, you know, sponsors, they always want to see that the videos you're going to produce about the products, that they get clicks, get likes and all that crap. But yeah, um, if we get enough, we can definitely get enough components and build one gaming PC per month or something and give it away. So that's one of the things. And I also want to create a tech blog. I just created itxtudo.com. Yeah, please don't go on that website, it's just running WordPress with the theme, but there is nothing configured yet. So I just bought the domain, installed WordPress, and that's basically it. So it's just for the future, not for now. But well, this is actually my biggest plan. The next plan is we're going 4K, or at least, because my bandwidth is really a piece of shit, we're going um, 4K downsample to full HD, because then I also have some sharper pictures if I um, take an outtake of a picture. And 4K down rendered also looks very good. I just want to invest in that technology and yeah, we'll definitely do it because my EOS 70D broke down and that camera was really expensive, but I hate Canon. They just give one year of warranty. I mean, that thing was fucking expensive and now it's broken. So we'll just go with Panasonic probably, the Lumix GH4 I think is it. It's like 2500 euro but um, it can record 4k maybe a black magic um, it's such a cinema cam that would be cool too but let's see I will go tomorrow to the shop and test them out but yeah um, for the next days maybe don't expect any reviews because yeah my camera is broken you have seen the quality on the last review it wasn't really good so I'm now filming with my Galaxy S6 which actually looks quite good so I really love the cameras on that phone okay so yeah the future plans 4K or at least some very good looking Full HD. Then gaming, a bit more gaming, so yeah, I don't have so much time for gaming. I was just about to record a Minecraft video, but well, um, time is limited, you know. I have to do a lot of work, but I still will continue gaming for sure. I will ever continue with that. Um, maybe some more tablets and yeah, China gadgets. So that will, um, all that will come on my blog, so maybe not a full review on my channel, but you will then see it on my blog, so let's see how many things we can get together. But yeah, um, the gaming thing there with the PC build, so monthly gaming PCs or something, will be really cool. I'm currently talking with a lot of sponsors. 
AMD and AMD really nice so there are a lot of companies which sponsor amazing stuff like here I just got two XFX R9 thank you FX XFX because this is super awesome for a crossfire tutorial which will definitely come in the next days okay yeah so that's one of the big plans and um, I would say let's just do a quick room tour so I can show you my test setup and everything and um, yeah explain to you um, what I do with the YouTube money because well you know I'm earning money from YouTube but currently right now I'm actually taking zero out of it I'm just reinvesting in hardware because I need a new camera which is expensive I'm going to buy a load tester which is 3000 euro but I need this definitely I need a power meter some multimeters all that benchmark equipment it's expensive as hell but I want to invest in this community so all the money which comes from the ads here will definitely be reinvested in the channel to build up an awesome community with you okay guys so I would say um, let's get started let me show you quickly my room so you can see that I'm actually recording in yeah in the basement okay guys so there we go here comes my room and you already see it's very small but contains everything you need to produce some good videos at least yeah they are good for my needs then let's have a look here at the table and well it's my review table you probably know this background here from my videos and yes it's made out of glass and it's actually very good because it spreads the light sometimes you have to play around with the reflection because I have some huge LED panel here at the top and yeah the LEDs just get reflected here so you have to play around with the DSLR with the brightness to get the perfect level and this can be very hard. Now yeah, lighting is very important and sorry for the flickering it's caused from the softboxes but yeah. Um, lighting is very important to create some good videos so you should definitely invest like 200 euro at least in some good softboxes or something like that that's also pretty good it comes with a lot I think three or four lamps and yeah it makes some very good light. Or you can also get yourself such an LED thing which you can just mount on your camera. But yeah, let's talk a bit about LEDs and this is huge. So as a comparison, that's my hand. And that's my 500 watt LED panel self-made crap. And yeah, it, it looks very strange and it has some flaws, definitely. Okay, so I actually bought um, like 50 meters, no, 20 meters I think of those LED stripes. And then I just mounted them here on some wood panel, as you can see. And, well, I just made myself a custom power supply with some fans on there. <laughs> and, yeah, the fans are cooling the power supply because it's running actually on maximum output, which is 500 watts, something like this. And, yeah, it does a pretty good job. It's very bright. The only bad thing is um, the power supply comes with three rails. And I have one here, one here, one here. And yeah, the voltage and heat is so high here at the beginning, so yeah, um, it just burns all the LEDs. I had to desolder some of them, as you can see. It looks a bit strange, but it's still working. I mean, we can switch it on because, um, yeah, um, it's very funny to see how this looks like. Okay, so let's just give me a second to switch it on. So the LED panel is now on, actually, the power supply. And you will hear the fans there, and they are needed to keep the power supply cool. And yeah, they're a bit noisy, so I cannot do videos with those fans on. That means um, I mostly do voiceovers. That means I just record the picture and I'm doing the voice with my microphone on the computer after I recorded the video. But yeah, let's switch it on, so there we go. Holy shit, that's bright. That was the first lane, second one, and the third one. You see it looks burnt here, but well, yeah, we have a lot of voltage drop along that. I didn't expect it because actually I thought they don't have so much heat and power, but well, you just learn by doing. And yeah, you see they are burnt, but it actually doesn't matter. All the other ones, which don't have so much voltage anymore, they are operating good and they provide me some nice lighting here. Only bad thing is you see the reflection, so you have to play around with um, the camera settings, and that's why I want a DSLR, not some camcorder. And also because those things, they take really great pictures. Only bad thing is that this camera here is broken. But yeah, as I've said, if somebody's familiar with Canons, maybe he could help me. But I have no warranties. I will just take it apart and look into it. Okay, now, yeah, 
that's the LED panel. Let's shut it off. So we'll do another cut because I have to do um, to yeah remove several connections. So the LEDs are off again because this would cause a lot of flickering even with anti-flick on on the smartphone. But yeah, um, let's just continue. So this is my review table. Um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff there, like um, the graphics cards for the Crossfire test, thanks to XFX once again. Cooler Master V1000, which is an amazing power supply because we'll need a lot of power. This can output 1000 watts, so this is really powerful. And yeah, we'll see some new smartphones like S6 clone from Lenvo, translation stick or something like that. Some PS4 gaming converter, but yeah. The best thing here is the YouTube silver play button. I want to thank all of you for that. It's so crazy. Um, when I started with YouTube, I just thought maybe in 10 years I will get 1,000 subscribers, but now 100,000, you guys are really crazy. But yeah, um, to thank you, I want to do a giveaway this week with five or six smartphones, so stay tuned, and yeah, you will see a lot of more tech tips. Okay, yeah, that's um, basically everything on there on my broken camera. Well, um, here's the PC test setups. So actually, that's just one of the stations, and that's the first one. So the PSU test station, and it's very important because we can also do a lot of other tests here. Like we can do load tests on Chinese batteries, and usually um, Chinese companies, so like 80%, they lie about the battery capacity. But I'm currently building up a setup to test all those batteries very good, very accurate, so to measure the whole capacity. But also to test a lot of those power supplies. Here you can see it's the Cooler Master V1000 and it can output 1000 watts, so that's really great, comes with good efficiency, and we're going to test it. Now to test the power supply you need a load tester to um, just drain a lot of power from it, and I wanted to create my custom load tester with a lot of resistors, so we can here see how I wanted to do it, like with um, 7 in a row, which would cause a power drain of 1000 watts, and then with some switches, but well, that's that's bullshit because first of all, it's very expensive, like um, 700 euro just for the resistors. Then you have to create the board and everything. Well, not the best thing. And a load tester which I bought now is 2,500 euro, but I think it's definitely worth it because we can do a lot of reviews, and also I can just bring you the best performance reviews because um, it's really important that. You do those reviews with load testers, which also other people have, so you can just um, go and compare the reviews, otherwise it's just bullshit, because nobody has this or some similar custom machine. Yeah, um, here you can see all the wires, some temperature sensor, because we also want to do, um, to create the hot box here, like the power supply um, should be operated, or actually, yeah, in reality it operates like at 40 degrees or something, because it's built in into the computer. By the way, here we have the case which I'm going to use, the Cooler Master Silencio, and yeah, Silencio because you see you can cover all the air intakes, and this will make the PC very silent, and that's what I need for recording. Okay, so yeah, that's basically my setup, and you will get more info on that <laughs> once it's finished, but I still have to wait for the load tester. Okay, here um, I have just some crap like my shotgun, some other crap, Xbox Cappy, and yeah, in there I just store some of the smartphones I reviewed, so I still have some things left. And yeah, um, I definitely need to give away some of the stuff. Okay, some wires and the usual stuff. Now here's my, yeah, computer setup. And I have two monitors, like a 4K Samsung monitor, which is super awesome, I need a second one of this. And here um, a full HD monitor. The only bad thing is never combine a 4K monitor with a Full HD monitor because um, of the scaling. Now my graphics card has really issues to scale them at the same scale. And I think I have to yeah, just look for some software solution because with the drivers it's somehow not possible or I'm just too stupid for that. But yeah, um, this 4K monitor really rocks. Sorry for the lighting, maybe we can adjust it a little bit. So we'll just do a cut right now because we're running out of 4K recording time on the Galaxy S6 and you can only record about 5 minutes on the smartphone, then yeah, it just cuts off. Okay guys, so I'm now back and yeah, that were the monitors. As microphone, I'm using here my Rode NT1A and yeah, I'm using that for voiceovers because it's hard for me to record and speak at the same time. So I'm not a multitasking guy and you see I do a lot of faults when I'm talking and recording at the same time. So I'm sorry for my language and 
all that. But yeah, um, here are my monitors, the microphone, it's mounted here on the desk. And as audio interface, I'm using the, what's that? The Scar, oh, it's the Focusrite Scarlet 6 in 6 or something. And that audio interface, a lot of people are using it and actually um, the quality coming out of it is very good. So, so far I'm really happy with that audio interface. Now, um, I have creative speakers and they are super awesome. So I'm a bit expensive, but if you're looking for some good and small desktop speakers, then you should go for them, but the bass is not really good. Well, um, my case, Cooler Master, so that's my current PC. You know, it looks <laughs> very strange taped together because it's making some vibration noise. It's already falling apart because I had something like seven builds in that machine here. So. Yeah, that's definitely why I have some new case right over here. And yeah, um, that's basically my whole gaming recording setup. I'm not using um, MacBook or like some other hipster crap because I don't like Mac and the second thing is they're expensive and the third thing is, yeah, um, a laptop is not that powerful like a desktop machine and I can just create a desktop machine for way less money than every Mac or Apple thing retails. <laughs> okay, so that's also my opinion on Apple and my whole recording gaming setup. Well, yeah, um, that's actually my room. So you see it's very small, it's like uh, five times four meters, really nothing special. Here a, car, a whiteboard and all the focus now sucks. But yeah, um, that's basically everything, guys. It's really not special, but if you do it right, you can also create some nice videos at least I think they are quite good with um, yeah a small room and not that much equipment but um, the only bad thing if you record in the basement is definitely the light so I have to use a lot of um, soft boxes and LEDs because there is no light coming in from the outside and yeah that sometimes really sucks and yeah the limited space here so that's why I'm going to do the PC reviews at my friend's house because well if I place a PC here on the desk, then I cannot do anything, so the space here is very limited. All in all, guys, um, you will see a lot of new stuff coming up on my channel and maybe on my sub-channel. Not really sure if I should create one, but yeah, um, just leave your opinion if you want to down below in the description. I really appreciate all your feedback because you guys are the guys who made this channel big, and really, thanks for all. So next week, uh, sorry, this week, because it's already Monday, I think, we will have a lot of giveaways, we have a lot of new, new reviews, news, and also some Minecraft videos. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Actually, this video is once again much longer than I wanted, because I just talk too much. But thanks for watching, guys. I really hope I see you again in my next videos. Have a nice day, and bye-bye.